How are you all doing today? So it's a new day here in Vegas and I thought I would show you actually how the uh, travel espresso maker works. So let me put you down here and uh, do a little demo. Okay, so here is the travel espresso maker. Here is a coffee pod. Basically, we take this part here, we put the coffee pod in, coffee pods in there. We've got a second section which goes over the top. And then that part goes into the coffee maker or espresso maker. There, put it in there. We take our water that is heated up since I did bought the wrong model, put the lid on top, grab your cup, and shoot your shot. And because I need extra energy every day, I need to do two of those. Okay, so I've made my coffee and I've made my honey oat and yogurt granola. Now I'm gonna sit down, have breakfast, drink my coffee, think about what we're gonna do, where we're gonna to play today. Maybe we'll go somewhere different. Hey, I'm back. Um, we're gonna go over to MGM Grand today, and play the $400, 100K guaranteed tournament that they have over there. So let's see how we go. I also wanted to mention, if you're going to play the daily deep stacks at the WSOP at Horseshoe, um, bring some warm clothes because it's the aircon over there is working very well and it's very cold over there So bring a hoodie Bag option you put chips in the bag you are done got an update at the uh, beginning of the first break of the $400 MGM tournament. Yeah, basically down to 18,000 from the 30,000 starting stack pretty much had uh, no interesting hands. One hand I did play. Um, the blinds are 200, 300, 300. Folds all the way to the button who calls for 300. Small blind calls and I'm on the big blind with pocket sevens. I decide to raise to 1400. Button calls in the small blind folds. The flop is 10, 9, 3 with 10, 9 of hearts. 3 of any other suit, doesn't matter. I bet a thousand big button calls. Turn comes a nine, another nine. Uh, I check, they bet 2,500. I call, river comes a jack. I check, they bet 3,500. I hold. So we lose some chips there. All right, we'll head back in for second session and give you an update after that. Okay, we're on second break of the MGM Grand $400 100K guarantee. And here are a few hands from that session. The blinds are 400, 800, 800. I've basically blinded down to 14,000 stack. On the hijack, I uh, raised to 1,600. And the cutoff calls, the small blind calls, and the big blind calls. I've got ace, king suited, both hearts. The flop comes ace of diamonds, eight of diamonds, Ace of spades, small blind checks, big blind checks. I bet 2,400 ever in faults. So now we're up to 20,000, blind down again to 18,000. When I opened king, queen, king of hearts, queen of diamonds, folds to the big blind who calls, the flops 10, 7, 2, all clubs, big blind checks. I bet 1,200 and the big blind goes all in for 15,000 and I fold. So now I've got 15,000, the blinds go up to 5,000, 1,000, 1,000. Under the gun calls 1,000, I go all in from the cutoff with ace 8 heart club, ace of hearts 8 of clubs and the button calls my all in of 12,700. So about 12 blinds uh, with queen nine of hearts and the board comes out nine of clubs six of diamonds four of diamonds ace of clubs 
and five of spades. So I win that. Um, they hit the nine on the flop, but managed to get there with the ace on the turn. So now we're at 28,900. Under the gun, one raises to 2,500. I'm on the low jack with pocket kings, king of spades, king of clubs. I re-raise to 6,500. Everyone else folds and under the gun one goes all in. For more than me. And I call, of course, with pocket kings. They show pocket eights. I don't remember the suit, so pick any suit. Flop comes 3-3-2. Three, three, a jack on the turn and an eight on the river and I'm out. So sorry, I kind of told a fib I'm not on the second break, I'm out. I've come over to the parachute area because I was thinking of playing the 1 p.m. deep stack, but I decided not to do that on the way over here and I'm going to go and do one of my, I guess, rituals. We we'll call it a ritual. We we'll call it a ritual. Whenever I come to Vegas, I go and have a mochi ice cream pop. So that's over by the link. So we're going to do a little walk out in the heat, which is going to suck. But that's what I'm going to do now and then probably head home. Okay, just filming a short outro here for today's video it's 1 36 a.m and we just got back to the airbnb originally after the failure of the mgm grand uh tournament i was planning on going back to the wsop and playing the daily deep stack again but uh chatting with james we decided to go to south point which is a bit further away and play the a small tournament there um, <clears throat> in terms of how my tournament went, I really didn't record any hands for that one. Stack went up and down. I ended up doubling up um, with pocket nines against ace eight to get to like 60k. And then slowly down, slowly down until there were about 33 players left out of 135. 21 were paid and I... Um, I had like four blinds. I went all in under the gun without looking at my cards because hopefully I win the blinds, um, people just have nothing or I get a double up there so that I can deal with the blinds because the, the blinds would half my stack, the blind and ante. So I did that, folded to the big blind who looked at one card, it was an ace and called. Um, I then looked at my cards and I had an ace as well. It was with a three, so ace three suited. I would have pushed all in with that anyways. Um, they looked at their other card and it was an ace. So lost that and I was out. However, James did really well, made it to the money, made it to the final table and got seventh. Uh, it was a small tournament, so cash wasn't that huge, but no big deal. Good, a good, uh, another cash for the two of us. Okay, comment of the day. Uh, Mr. Jack says, I like that your routine includes also catching up on some other vlogs. Would you recommend any other than the ones that I mentioned, which was Lexi Gavin Mather and Daniel Negranu? Um, and I replied, um, I also watched the Ryan DePaulo vlog, Bretsky's vlog or videos. Um, but if you're into van life, which if you've seen any of my other videos, um, I regularly watch Van City Van Life, which is a Canadian van dwelling um, YouTuber. And Max Anoki is an Australian um, guy and his dog who used to live in a van and now they're living in a rainforest cabin. Um, and I enjoy those uh, videos as well. Anyway, I need to go to bed. Tomorrow, it might be unlikely that there will be a video. 
and that's because I don't think there are any great poker tournaments on that I want to play. So uh, if, if I play, we'll have a video. If I don't, we'll probably have no video. Anyway, if you're liking these video series, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, it doesn't cost you anything, and I'll see you in the next video.